Serious, what is an alarming fact that the next generation is going to have to deal with? Acidification of the oceans. We are in for one heck of a rude awakening when the fighter plankton dies. There won't be any jobs on a dead planet. In the US, that baby boomers cannot afford to retire. Don't worry fellow Gen X millennials, it's not just your parents. The most optimistic estimates for the average savings of households headed by a person near retirement age, 55-64, is dollar sign 100k, but 40% have nothing saved, so it's skewed. Gen X, having a hard time getting promoted because the senior guys won't get out of the way, yet, yeah, that's not getting better, they can't afford to leave. Millennials, don't sweat it that you still live with your parents, you will soon be returning the favor. Younger generation whatever you're called, get to work ASAP, we can't afford to send you to college, we're still paying for our student loans and need help funding grandma and grandpa's social security. As someone starting college at 32 this year with two stepchildren over 10 years old and retired working parents this hits close to home. Double mortgages were a normal thing amongst the boomers. What the frick? That all their parents adolescence and young adulthood is shared, stored and accessible, schooling, parties, fun time, private time, good, bad indifferent, whole years, decades, a lifetime stored on the web, for their children and their friends enemies to research i'm really looking forward to whether facebook will remain the main social network or not we'll all soon get on our 10th year on facebook and many of my friends are digging out very old posts to laugh at each other just imagine in 20 years there will be very few usernames left and they won't look very professional on resumes reddit is the only site i know where every username doesn't have numbers only when the last tree is cut, the last fish caught, and the last river poisoned, will we find that money cannot be eaten. Cree proverb. The rich can be though so there's always that. That machines are going to displace huge parts of the workforce and we haven't set up an adequate economic model to deal with this. The plastics industry will have to change as oil is prioritized for fuel. The return of real class politics as rich poor divide becomes extreme. Given how much computing is part of everyday life from young age now, I wonder if IT based jobs like support will get so many well trained people it'll become next factory level job. <laughs> Democracy requires belief for it to be successful, and our generation's cynicism about the process means that our children will be truly lost. How can democracy ever exist in the long term without a strength of conviction behind it? Democracy is two wolves and a lamb voting on what's for dinner. Probably that we need to work together on issues rather than go against each other. If we have two political parties that do nothing but undo each other's policies, we won't get anything done. <laughs> if we're complaining about how hard it is to find work now, imagine how hard it's gonna be in the next 20, 30 years with machines replacing people. Google has a car which can drive itself, damn it. Having a lot of different antibiotics to choose from was really awesome. Sorry we used them all up by giving them to kids with viral infections and handing them out like candy in many countries. Remember to wear your Purell brand clothing at all times. Not exactly alarming but, as an avid fisherman that enjoys our waters, I have to say, future generations may not be able to enjoy the fish we catch and the fish we eat today. If you've been fishing or talked about fishing with an older man, they oftentimes say when I was your age, the fish came out non-stop, they were enormous too, and at the store you could have bought it for 10 cents a pound. Before I started fishing often, I didn't really get what they meant, I thought it was old timers just thinking everything was better back in day, but that's not the case. Our fisheries are being overfished to brink of no return by commercial fishermen. Then you have recreational fishermen who ignore all regulations and keep anything that comes out of the water. The rules are there to allow fish to spawn a couple times before being caught. At this rate, when I'm an old timer I'll be telling young people that fish actually used to come out of our oceans and rivers. Along with overfishing illegal harvesting, our waters are becoming more polluted. Damage has been done by turn of the century factories dumping toxins in outwaters. 
the time to clean up will far exceed the time it took to destroy the water, as well as runoff from farms and pesticides. And with the explosion of popularity in fish oil, our most important bait fish, the menhaden, bunker, pogi, is under serious threat of extinction by companies like Omega Bunker. Ironically, taking out the middle of the food chain will collapse the rest. It may not be as urgent as honeybees, freshwater, social issues, global warming, or helium. But the health of our fisheries is important as well. I hope that better regulations, better aquaculture, better catch and release, and better cleanup happens because at this rate, the only fish left at markets will be tilapia at $99.99 lb. Global warming is real, and the people in charge have been doing their best to totally ignore it. We are running out of wild elephants and rhinos. The slow and unstoppable loss of our privacy began before they were even born. People with money make the rules, and are also exempt from the rules. People with money make the rules, and are also exempt from the rules this has always been true for most of human history. Loss of basic computer repair and diagnostic skills. As computer tablets phones get easier and easier to use less and less people need to get under the hood. The idea of ask a teenager does not apply to desktops and laptops anymore. More and more kids take it for granted that the machine will work. Basic computer repair and diagnostic will go the way of auto mechanics. Less and less people will do it out of their own garage. Word. I'm nearly 28 and work in IT. You will be astonished at how many people my age or just slightly younger are completely clueless about computers. That they will never have jobs when they graduate with their degrees, neither liberal arts nor STEM, because my generation, being fricked by the previous generation, those of us who are lucky to get jobs, will hold on to them like leeches until we retire or die off. Raising tuition costs is only going to make the unemployment more damaging that there are a lot of children out there who have grown up only knowing America as the place that sends death from the sky, watching American foreign policy over the next 50 years, given how badly they've fricked up over the past 15, is going to be interesting. USA's foreign policy the last 15 years has been pretty consistent with what it has been since the end of World War II. To be fair, my generation is still trying to fix the massive damage caused by baby boomers, while many of them are still here voting to continue the damage, destruction and plunder. I figure my kids will have to deal with the fact that we were unable to fix it because the boomers still held too much power. With any luck a new generation, combined with an older generation who didn't grow up in a post-war world with all the jobs and opportunities an entire generation could ever need, will actually get to make some progress. Turns out that enjoying a whole load of social security, excellent public services and a balanced economy to get where you are, then tearing it apart and selling it all for personal gain once you're finished with it, while telling younger folks who have to try to make it on their own, they just have to work harder is a bad long term call. Bee populations are dropping to critical levels. If bees disappear, immediately one third of our food is gone, and the effects within the rest of the food chain would likely render this planet unable to support human life. If the bees die, we die. Comma if the bees die, we die. More likely we'll just make robot bees or something. In the US our schools are fricked, between overtesting cutting budgets and underpaying our teachers. Our kids just aren't being given the tools to become highly productive members of society. We're just creating cubicle dwellers. We let the people who excel get bored, and people who need help are either abandoned or drag down the whole class. That they will have to work much longer, for less money and for a much less attractive pension, paying high housing costs. Paying for university, paying higher amounts towards healthcare for the same results that their parents, and possibly grandparents, got for free or for much much less, but in consolation they get to have iPads and iPhones, if they can make enough from their paltry salary. Cities that are built for cars instead of humans. Cars are going to be less and less viable as global warming gets worse, and there isn't enough rare earths on the planet to replace them all with e-cars. Suburban sprawl is going to become a wasteland. Huh, this might work backwards for me living in a thousand year old city. Just today, stuck in traffic, I lamented how it was clearly built for people and horses, not cars. 
Going anywhere to anywhere within the city is 100% walkable, though. I should probably point out that I'd been elsewhere for work, hence why I was driving, not just being a lazy crap. 68% of the US population is overweight, 30 plus percent are obese. It's the second leading cause of death in the US. Today, 3.4 M deaths in 2010. Hars will kill us all. Unemployment on a huge scale. With the rise of driverless automobiles, the transport and taxi industries will cease to employ even 10% of what they do today, leaving millions of fewer jobs. The rise of 3D printing will mean a lot of household objects can be made at home from raw materials, making factories for basic objects obsolete and making millions of jobs redundant. 3D printing won't displace as many factory jobs as you think. While it might hurt low volume manufacturing, you can't beat injection molding for high quantity products, especially if they have to be food grade and or inexpensive. I hope I don't come off as a doomsayer but I am very close to fully deciding to not bring a child into this world intentionally and maybe adopt one currently. Between the automation of labor, resistance to antibiotics, global warming, the failure to shift away from oil resources, the dawn of total loss of privacy, it just doesn't seem rational to bring a person into this world with what's looming ahead. Alzheimer's disease and related dementias. It is costing the US millions in unpaid care. There is no cure. The longer you live, the higher your chances of getting it. With the advances in modern medicine, we are all living longer. Which means we will all be at risk. Obesity. Yeah we make fun of all the fat people. Ha ha ha. Crap isn't a joke. It's starting to become more acceptable on society and people are not caring enough. It's not healthy. It's not beautiful. You're not some freaking goddess or Adonis made of muscle you're freaking fat. You're making your kids freaking fat. You're one of the biggest burdens on the healthcare system. Overpopulation. It's the causer of just about every single other issue that people here have brought up. Too many people need too many resources and cause too much damage. Overpopulation will be what shapes the 21st century. Debt in this generation is considered good. Our governments reward those in debt by printing money and diluting the value of the debts. And guess what? The next generation is going to have to pay for it. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.